Fucking I'm probably going to... Let's wait for it. No! Wah! <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. See? There Wrecked. What? No, no, no! You guys are such trolls, man. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Ah, breaks are so much quicker when uh, the family's not here. So my family's away at the moment. I was actually just saying... Ever since we did that Birmingham thing, our inbox is full of people trying to get us the stuff. Which is great, but obviously we can't do it all. Which is wacky. So, uh, a few things then. We have got a special Halloween show coming up, and then we're immediately after that. I think it's the day before we're doing the Halloween show. What date have we got down for that? 23rd? It was it's midweek, I know that, because we're doing a, we've got an exclusive horror VR game to play. And um, then we're at fucking London for Comic Con, which should be awesome. It should be awesome. It's just going to be really good. And then we've got all the other stuff coming up. And then Christmas and drama time. But uh, Patreon's on Monday, we think. We're going to have that video out on Monday, aren't we? The one you've been working on. Talk about it in a bit. Okay, so Patreon's watch out Monday or Tuesday. There's a new video, new series, the first pilot episode. And we need your guys' feedback on making sure it's right before we put it out to the public, if possible. So that's going to be going on. Right. Let's have some drama. So, so far, I saw some people asking for more WoW talk. There's not that much going on. 7.1's coming. That's why we did it ahead at the top of the show. There ain't that much going on right now. People want to know if you're going to play any VR tonight. Uh, no. No. No, unfortunately. We did, a, we did do a VR stream yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yes, we did That's yesterday. Yeah, we did it yesterday. Uh, which was the PSVR. Uh, we did the PSVR yesterday. I need one woman... I want one of my ladies who is going to be a lesbian. I need a lesbian. Where's my girls at? Who's up for it? Who's Everyone's up for it? After meeting all the girls, like IRL, who watch the show, every single one of them is probably a lesbian. I've not, that's wrong, wants to be in it as a lesbian and doesn't mind. Uh, we'll have Lucretia. Lucretia, we haven't had Lucretia for a while. Somebody's got a name that says lesbian in it. Where is it? <laughs> Trendy lesbian. <laughs> It'll be trendy lesbian. Sorry, Lucretia. I know you've been in before. Trendy lesbian. Love trendy lesbian. Okay. <laughs> the lonely milf, ladies and gentlemen. The lonely milf. Let me catch up. Fucking hell. You can put me in it. All the girls like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Right then. Hola, preacher. This is my first time writing a story for you, and it's not too long, but it contains trade chat, hacking, and an anxiety attack, and the sex. Fuck you then, mate. Thanks, Lucretia. Appreciate it. You need just one name for a mature lesbian lady seeking that hurt. Let's give some backstory there, guys. I'm a wrath baby that started playing the game again quite heavily during these last few months of WAD since I was feeling the itch to play an MMO instead of Steam games and Call of Duty, which doesn't have the same kind of appeal that it did when I was 12. That's some shade. That's some fucking shade, isn't it? Tossing those burns left and right. I'm currently in a relationship with a beautiful girl that I started dating during my senior year of high school. 12th year to you Brits. And this year was my first year away at Gooniversity while she stayed at Community College and got a sweet job. He's at uni. That's got to be tough, right? It's got to be tough because there's a lot of I fucking this in was uni. A there's a lot of fucking in uni. A lot of fucking. Who's the lesbian? It's just like it's been four lines. Where's the lesbianism? I can't I handle. The, I heard the word boyfriend. <laughs> That's not a lesbian. This is written by a guy. This is by a phony. I was one of the few lucky enough to get a single dorm without roommates, and this allows my girlfriend to stay the night and let us have them sexes as often as we'd like. It is awesome. Mm -mm -mm. Them sexes in the bed all day. <laughs> My girlfriend, let's have, an, let's have Lucretia as the girlfriend. Lucretia is very open to gaming. Oh. <laughs> did you like my pause? I did. Very <laughs> is nice. very open very nice. to gaming. Given that her father is a huge fan of games and has the biggest collection of Xbox games I've ever seen. Casual. When she noticed that I was spending a lot of time playing WoW, she figured she'd give it a go since we had played games like Diablo and Minecraft together to help us get through being in a long-distance relationship. Minecraft. Bringing people together. 
About four hours away. That's not too bad, is it? When Lucretia couldn't spend the night. At first, she didn't understand it at all and only did pet battles. Having to do pet battles with your girlfriend for two hours a day is not fun, Preach. <laughs> but over time, she has started to really enjoy it. And we're in the process of raiding in a casual guild and leveling what will be her second level 100. Nice. On this occasion, Lucretia was spending the night in my dorm. And I had finally had enough of watching her play WoW on a MacBook. I'll let her take a seat in my chair and see what it's like to play WoW on a TV-sized monitor with a separate keyboard. You just feel so bad looking at her with a MacBook. I can't. I can't do it. I love you too much. Please. Please come over. Put it down. Put it down. She thought it looked totally different, but missed how comfy the bed was. The last thing you want when you give up the PC spot is someone to go, yeah, but I preferred being on the, the floor. That's not the last thing you want. It is. It is, and it's like, mint, then get the fuck off and let me You play. offer up the throne, and they complain. I was letting her mess around on my account while I did homework on her laptop, and she got the bright idea to troll trade chat on our roleplay realm. Nice. She started off by making a new character and heading to Stormwind, and then entering trade chat asking for ERP. She said that she was a girl IRL, playing while naked. <laughs> Troll. Which, ironically, she actually was. That never happens. I don't want leaky quim on my chair. It's a good point, mate. Might as well just fucking grab the snail from the garden. I wouldn't jerk off and smear it on my chair. And I just don't want exposed badge on my chair either. I don't, you know, I don't know, mate. Because you let's know, not lie, there's a smell. Let's, let's go into the mechanics of the life advice that this could potentially be. Now, you're talking about you doing it yourself. Come on, everyone's fucking, you know, jerked off, blown a load on themselves, and just gone to sleep and cleaned it well, up. Well, there's no PC in the bathroom. But here's the thing with the girl on the chair. Do you remember, like, on Willy Wonka with the lickable wallpaper? You can do it on your chair, then. That's fucking right. You, you're going, oh Mr. Christian. I did not just know you were going there. Out, That's right? disgusting. Just hear me out. So you send the tongue up the chair. You don't want to go too far, though, right? Because you're in the brown zone. Yeah? But I'm just saying the snozberries taste like snozberries. Let's not pretend we're right. not all eating an asshole. Shit. <laughs> it's true. There's nothing better than a girl coming out of the shower. Yes. Ha ha ha. I like the way that I'll towel's folded. Yeah? yeah. Exactly. What exactly. are you doing? Just had a shower. Really? <laughs> Good. <Just> play them. <laughs> so we're halfway there. She said... <laughs> okay. There were some bants in the chat and a few people messaged her. Some trolls and some guys really wanted Skype. Of course they bloody did. She kept messing around and then she got a message from Trendy Lesbian. Trendy. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> hey! Bend over. Come over here. <laughs> <Did it serve? laughs> Nothing better than eating ass before breakfast. It's a good day. Mate, that's multitasking. It's like a sip of your coffee when you're having your bacon and eggs. I'm not that saying at the same up. time. I said before breakfast, not during. You think I? What do you think I'm going to eat first? Breakfast or ass? Same time, mate. I'm saying it's like having a sip of your coffee when you're having your breakfast. One time I tried to put scrambled egg on an ass and it did not work. You've ate kebab meat off an ass, so yes, I have. Carry on. A man's ass. It's true. It's true. It was it's true. true. It was college. Everyone was experimenting, <laughs> and it did happen in his parents' front room. As you were. It was a dare. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was. He got out of the shower, put a piece of kebab meat on his ass, and you just went... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, started off, and still no one would believe I was gay. Look at what the fuck just happened. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all insecure. I was there. True, I was there. It wasn't my ass. No, true. Started off by saying that she that she too was a girl. Anyway, back to the story. And had done exactly what my girlfriend was doing on a few occasions. Whoa, you play naked? I play <laughs> me too! Holy sh two of us playing naked. It's alright, bro, it was your son. <laughs> it was 
it was. It's Holy it's shit, it was. <laughs> we can't say it as it was, though, because that will come over really I just down. like the fact that my brother's so uncomfortable and I just made his life worse. <laughs> Take that, bro. <laughs> come at me. <laughs> He's so pissed, I love it. I immediately told my girlfriend, Lucretia, that, that there was a shit chance that this person was actually a girl. But Lucretia paid no mind and went along with it. Trendy went on to talk with her about girl things and how she got into WoW and stuff. You're a real girl? Yeah. How'd you get so where'd wow? you buy your makeup? <laughs> hey, I know you wait to do all that ERP shit, but while well, I've got another girl in the line. Don't your phones itch. <laughs> <laughs> and my girlfriend figured out that Trendy was a mature lady of 40 years and had been playing for a few years starting with her ex-husband 40's good man 40's good she had two kids and now lived alone in an apartment oh wow so sad times so they chatted for a bit more until the tone of the conversation changed a bit ladies and gents mm -mm -mm. After talking a bit more, Trendy brought up my girlfriend's initial request asking if she was really looking for ERP. <laughs> so I'm on my own in the apartment. The kids are gone. But getting back to the ERP though. <laughs> Lucretia responded by just saying she was trying to troll. But Trendy kept asking her personal questions like, When did you lose your virginity? How big are your nipples? Have you ever been with an older woman? Lucretia started to get concerned and told her that that's a bit too personal and I'm not a lesbian. Trendy relented though, telling her that all girls are really waiting for another woman to come along and show them what it's like. <laughs> Going in you know what? You're right! <laughs> Never thought about it that way before, but now you've said it, open wide! <laughs> Say arse! Say arse. <laughs> I requested let's do some ARP! to test the waters <laughs> that was about enough for Lucretia and she logged out of the character for a good hour only to log back in and find tre to find Trendy still waiting for her where she had logged off <laughs> <laughs> the messages kept coming asking why my girlfriend had logged off without telling her and how she was willing to forgive her if she could get some sexy pics whoa 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 doming you now okay prepare to be dominated I'm, I'm waiting mate you logged off I'm going to let it fucking slide, but I'm going to need to see some tits. <laughs> if that works, I fucked up my entire... <laughs> no, 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 this is going to work. Life. Girls, would this work? Because you're all obviously seeking lesbianism. Let's do know it, like, it or not. like in the real world, in the real world now. So it's like, you know... What? Some chick... Is, you, you're getting macked by some chick. <laughs> macked? What the fuck? Shut up. <laughs> anyway, you're not into it, she is... But then, so then you like bail, but then you come back, and then that yeah. chick's still there, and she's like, for fuck's sake, I've been sat here an hour, right? Snapchat me your butthole. <laughs> what do you do? Do you just like, right, okay, do you got upskirt that shit? <laughs> well, do you good. not? Girl's got a point. It's a good point. <laughs> Nobody would do that for a dick pic, though. Dicks don't look good on a <laughs> picture, mate. I've seen... I've, 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 <clears throat> don't matter. By this point, though, Lucretia told me she was just going to block that bitch and be done with it. Until letters popped up in her next message that gave my girlfriend's jaw the drop. Trendy sent her a message that said, I know you live in California. Whoa. 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 Did you proofread this? Mm. Is this going to get really dark? Nah. And proceeded to tell her the exact town and university we were at. Finishing up by calling my girlfriend one of the cutesy names we call each other, which was way too unique for someone to guess at random. Trendy continued saying that if she logged off, we would both regret it. My girlfriend screamed and said, that's it. <laughs> that she had to be reading our messages and even seen our nudes that we had sent each other. And she started getting very intense and had a small panic attack. I love my girlfriend Preacher, and this had seriously fucked up with our night. Especially as we'd just watched a movie called The Den. Not seen that one. Not me, but it's going to describe what it is. Then. But the movie was about a woman's computer and webcam getting hacked. Mm. Nice. My girlfriend went into paranoia mode. I tried to calm her down, but she was freaking out. Until I grabbed the computer, 
that I'd been using for school to show her that I was actually logged on to WoW on her account. Pretending to be a 40 year old woman. Yes! <laughs> what a yes! plot twist! Woo! I what fucking a love twist. it! I fucking love it! I fucking love it! <laughs> I fucking, fucking love it! Mint. It's so fucking good. <laughs> now, my girlfriend is not dumb, Preacher. She's still a bit newbie and didn't think to check her friends list at the time to see that her account was actually logged in and playing on the realm. Plus, I did a pretty good job of convincing her that I was doing homework. This whole time, I've been messaging her secretly from that account. I felt like a douche because she reacted so badly, but I promptly comforted her in bed and got makeup sex later that night. Top shelf. Yes. What a Nailed it. quality story. I want to have credit for how I played that, where everyone thought that was going to get really That was going to get south. That was going south. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the story, Preacher. LaCrisha and I are still together two weeks later while writing this, and she even encouraged me to send in the story to see it. A bro fist to you and keep up the good work. Baller. Baller maneuver. Cool. Baller maneuver. I fucking love it. Right. I just want to read this one really quickly. It's not as good as that one, unfortunately. But I just... Oh, you pig too soon. Yeah. But I just this one made me laugh with the current scenario. Because uh, I think I think actually the audience will really like this. Oh yeah. Because as we said the other day, <laughs> triggered. <laughs> triggered, triggered, triggered. <laughs> Okay, we need a raid leader. We need a raid leader. Uh, go for it, go for it. It must be. Oh, Zloffer. Love Zloffer. Captain Zloffer. Zloffer will do. All right, let's just skim through this. <clears throat> so a bit of background then. I have cleared every heroic raid since Kata, but I had not played for all of what? Around the time of Legion pre-launch event, I figured out it was high time for me to find a raiding guild to progress through the Emerald Nightmare. I went to WoW Progress to find a guild and figured since I had no raiding achievements in WOD, I should probably aim for a guild that was a little bit of lower progression. This is where I fucked up. I applied for a guild who was still progressing on Fel Reaver weeks before Legion. What? That's boss 2 in the Hellfire Citadel. Post nerfs. Oh, I have not done this. <laughs> I was applying as a healer, so in order to make sure I got in, I queued up with some other healers for some Archimond LFR and told them not to heal unless the raid was about to wipe. I started logging that fight, and because I was the only one healing, I ended up scoring in the 99th percentile of wild logs. <laughs> when a guild sees this beautiful orange 99 on your application, they are obliged to let you in. With my strategy, I had no problem, but I timed it perfectly so that I wouldn't have to do any Hellfire Citadel. You, sir, are an old school pro. An old school pro. I remember that conversation. I think Pyramid was with me. Are you going to join Hellfire Citadel for some gear? No. I remember that. What about no. leveling gear? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm alright. But that preacher was my second mistake. Maybe if I had raided with them in Hellfire Citadel and seen the disaster of a raid team I just joined in action, I wouldn't be in this situation. Fast forward to the launch of Legion, and I had been accepted into the guild's Team 1. Day 1, I was prepared. I finished my broken shore, did all the quests, logged out in Dalaran, and by the end of Day 1, I was level 110 with an 810 item level. I was ready for heroics. I then checked the guild to see who I could queue with, and noticed that the highest level was 104. But I thought that was fine, since they're probably just taking their time, enjoying the leveling experience. By the end of the first week, though, there were two other 110s in the guild, and I really wanted to do some mythics. So I asked them if they wanted to run with me, but both declined and said their item level was too low. I tried to tell them that if you're decent at the game, the item level doesn't matter. <laughs> but no matter what, they kept telling me that item level wasn't quite there yet. Needless to say, I pugged every mythic dungeon and there was no way I would let all those juicy perps slip by me. Good man. The guild, night was the guild raid night was Sunday. So when EN and Mythic Plus came out throughout the week, I would ask people, anyone for Mythic Plus? But every time it was silent. Nobody was trying to gear up for Emerald Nightmare. They were just spending time in heroics or doing something like fishing. Come Sunday night, I had 7 out of 7 normal and 3 out of 7 heroic on my alt in random pugs. So I would know all the fights inside out to help our guild at least get through some normals smoothly. On Sunday night when it was time to raid, I got curious to see what kind of gear the guild members had since they had not done any mythics or mythic plus with me. 
and with every single person I inspected, they were all blue. If I had to guess, I would say the average item level of our raid group was about 825, while I was, of course, above 850. That's kind of awkward, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Now, don't get me wrong, preacher. I know item level doesn't determine whether or not you you should use it, uh, another, whether or not you are good. But there are limits. What is the limit? If you're in a raiding game. Uh, no, I think, mate, this is a different circumstance. At the release of an expansion, this shows commitment to your end game being raiding, if it is. If your item's still that fucking level after two weeks, whatever it is, then it's time to fuck off and move on. It's crafted, right? Crafted's the minimum. Bingo! There you be, go. Yeah. That's, that's a simple That's what it's... It. The crafted is the minimum. If yeah. you're in a raiding guild and they're telling you they're going to take it seriously, crafted is the minimum. It's easy to work out if you're not sure. <clears throat> I decided to keep it to myself and didn't want to bring up item level and went on with the trash. Did you know you need to interrupt on the slimes in front of Nivendra? My guild did not. <laughs> we wiped straight away. I checked the interrupts list and it was empty. Nobody had even tried to interrupt. And I was a holy priest and couldn't save them. Plus it didn't help that nobody walked out with the debuff causing more slimes to be pulled. It was at this moment I knew that I had really fucked up. But the raid leader said he had researched things. So we pulled Nathendra and we wiped at 70% because the strategy the raid leader had come up with for Nathendra was to stack <laughs> on spot. And read it. And he never told people to run out with rot. So every time rot would come in, everyone just stayed perfectly still and dropped it on the raid that's like the opposite of my raid <laughs> i love it when i see this go on <laughs> i knew it was wrong but i figured i should let the raid leader see his mistake before i say anything as i was still a trial before the next pull the raid leader linked fat boss's video in the discord and told people to watch it instead of giving out orders for himself let's take a raid break and let's all listen to Loz and alex <laughs> because that didn't work did it that flat didn't work. <clears throat> I sort of lost my cool at this point and decided I would be the raid leader. I explained the fight and we killed it in two tries. The second time, because on the first attempt, they still didn't run out with rot. And then I found out that the raid didn't use boss mods. The raid leader <laughs> decided that one out of seven normal, though, was a great progress night and finished the raid there. <laughs> <laughs> We did it. Beers, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Beers, everyone. <laughs> After the raid was finished, <laughs> the officers and the raid leader told me to join Discord. They told me, you would make a really good raid leader, so we want you to raid lead Team 2. <laughs> At first, I didn't even really know there was a Team 2. But after asking, they gave me the names of two people. One who was still leveling... And one who had not logged into the game yet since the Lodge of Legion. I was to be their raid leader and was to assemble a team that could rival Team 1. I understood what they were trying to do. So I didn't say anything. I just left the guild. <laughs> I oh, waited wow. until next Sunday when Team 1 had their raid night. And put together a pug for Heroic while they were on normal. They were on the end of their raid night after they had killed Nathendra, Spider Leader and Ursoc. Everyone in the guild could see in yellow letters. Oh, he's... Well, I did not... Oh, sorry. I tell a lie. He did not instantly quit the guild. He just left it there. But he made sure that they could see in yellow letters ahead of the curve, Emerald Nightmare. And then he quit the guild. <laughs> so I know I, I wanted to read that because I'm definitely encouraging some of you to join raid guilds, right? There's a lot of bad warning signs in that story. <laughs> There is a shitload of bad warning signs in that story that you guys need to pay attention to. Because if you end up in that scenario, it's it's bad. It's bad. Go. It's bad. Yeah, it's really fucking bad. Which is terrible. Right then. So, moving on, we wanted to talk about some other stuff, which is kind of non-WoW related. So, if you have any WoW questions. I know it's usually we start a VR stream soonish, but we don't really have time. We have some stuff to do, uh, which is a bit of a bummer. But it should be fine. But we wanted to talk about all the good stuff, like the John Wick trailer, which made you cream your dick off. Yeah? Worth? Worth? But I did want to have a bit of a QA and a because we've had um, so many people joining new guilds and sending me letters and stuff. So I'm really happy that you guys are doing that. We are looking at the social anxiety thing, although I spoke to a doctor 
and uh, he was like, don't say anything. Because everyone's got different problems. <laughs> everyone's got different problems. Uh, John Wick looks really fucking good. No, we can't do VR tonight, I'm sorry. We did do a full VR day yesterday, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, how to farm gold? <sighs> a million ways. Oh, a lot of the markets are dying. <laughs> no VR, I'll go right. Uh, I'm not into making gold right now, honestly. Uh, I know Belly has got some good videos on making gold. I think he's doing some disenchanting shit or something. I'm not sure. John Wick hype. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. Let's look and see if there's... Uh... I'll tell you, buddy. <laughs> I'm a Tower Mill Priest. What guild would you advise? Ours? Depending on your progress. <laughs> yeah, Elvine makes a lot of gold. Or Elvine. Uh... I bet you write that letter to you last week. Yeah, don't worry about cycling. I've got loads and loads of them in. Herbalism. Mm -hmm. I study psychology. I can help. Yeah. A psychologist did tell me it was a bad idea to make a video on it, but I'll do something on it. <laughs> uh, as a player returning after skipping mob and what what is the best way to get back into raiding mythic plus just find your guild jason find a guild that's doing something how do i get a girlfriend you guys are trolling so hard <laughs> our chat is the most sarcastic tinder <laughs> our chat is the most sarcastic bastards which quest did you fuck you guys <laughs> so fucking much <laughs> you guys are such assholes right then what's the item for the transport competition i want to do the yellow diary tabard <clears throat> it never looks good. Too easy. It does. There's a lot of sets that work with it. A lot of perfect. Right, sets. choose a theme. Let's do choose a theme. Should we do the superhero one? We haven't done superheroes in ages. A lot of these ones that the the ones the mods suggested, I'm not really happy with. We wanted a cloth one, didn't we? Cloth arm nail. Cloth arm nail. Oh god. That's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I don't really want that one. Do you have I superheroes? Like, I like the fucking theme based on an item thing that we have. Just keep gassing for like two minutes while you just take questions for two minutes, mate, while I brainstorm it, and then I'm going to come up with a fucking creamer. <laughs> Halloween? Uh, well, we've got a Halloween show. I think we'll do that next time. We have a special Halloween show coming. In fact, is a Halloween show before the next web show? I think it is, Andy. What? The Halloween show is before the next web show, so we should do the Halloween thing. Halloween theme. Yeah. Halloween okay. theme. Halloween theme it is. Wherever you want, Halloween theme. Halloween theme is what we'll do then. I feel like I'm better than my guild. Help. Make sure you are, and then look to a better guild if you want to leave. If you want to leave. Absolutely, you should do that. You should absolutely do that. Oh, apparently it's bad, you know. I've not read that it's bad. I know. Just give me one sec. Please don't play that. Please stop, stop, oh, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, don't, don't oh, do right, that. Okay. You watch that in your own time. I wasn't going to watch it, you dick. I was looking you for put a, a video fucking on. tag on it. No, I went on the <laughs> fucking store page. Yeah, you know it is. It's four player. Uh, it will be a spook UI. I don't want to have too many competitions on that night because we're going to be streaming this world first premiere game, uh, which I don't really want to do that. Uh, why can we make a chair? It looks cool. Why sit on me? <laughs> you guys are such assholes. Uh, the Halloween theme is make something scary. Halloween theme. Go with that idea. It's a Halloween theme. Uh, and then go with that. What I did want to check was this. Uh, I was looking if there was any horror VR things out, but there doesn't seem to be any, which is a bit of a pain. How do you submit logs? Just go and walk off logs and there's a full guide on how to do it there. Uh, let's do it that. I'm either guild with some friends that have been raiding for seven years and I'm not raided since Kata. But since then, I've recruited some of the most toxic individuals I've ever played with. They're not willing to go to another guild. Is there anything I could do to get rid of these people? Just kick them. Kick them. If you're in charge of recruitment, get rid of them. They'll ruin your guild very quickly. There's a blue DK count as being scary. Ghost? Transmog Master? No. No, it doesn't. Anything except the fucking Headless Horman. Any armor type, doesn't matter. It's all in good fun. Please, can you label it Halloween so I can search it on the email? Every set, especially from the Warlords of Draenor... Raids have some scary looking armor. Every proficiency of armor has that. What's your preferred healer from Mythic Plus? It doesn't matter. Everybody I've played with has been a different type of healer and it's been absolutely fine. Even in tens. It's fine. Like we did 10 with the Holy Priest today. It was totally fine. It was totally fine. It's never been an issue. Like we've never done our Mythic Pluses based on class. That's what I can tell you. It's who's online and who's going to come. Simple as that. You usually get a whisper, do you fancy doing Mythic Plus? That's how mine work, honestly. You're a spooky UI icon. I like most of the people in my guild, but there's one resto druid that's horrible at tactics, lowest healing, sometimes below the tanks. The raid leader doesn't want to replace you to a resto druid. What do I do? What do you think? I wasn't even listening and I was looking at that list. What are you saying? 
You've got a, one bad player in your raid that won't get replaced. What do you do? Leave. If it's causing a fucking wipe and there's no progression because of this arsehole, then leave. Yeah, if you... Uh, I wouldn't say leave, but I'd certainly say if you don't sort this out, I'm going to leave because this is, we're just carrying this person. For or reason. you fucking voice it on your voice comms to actually single mm -hmm. that person out to then gain the awareness of the rest of the fucking raid to look at them. Which is why I'm against... We use a nipple. Which, yeah, which is why I'm against the whole I'm not going to name any names. No, fuck that shit. Put them under a spotlight if they continually fuck up and get some order back in your raid. Boom! Boom. Yeah? Boom. No skirting around the houses here. No fucking PC bullshit. Name that bitch. Yeah? Get them out. I'm not sure I fully agree with that, but there you go. So Very aggressive. So <laughs> Very aggressive. Well, in a more... Not, not, obviously not wording it as harsh as that, but like, fuck this whole... No. Right, such about it, you're fucking up. Yeah? You've done it a few times now. Pick it up, or you're going to be replaced. That's it. Yeah, see, I disagree Not with that as well. Not fucking duration and ball slap, but no, I'm up. I call people out on the first fuck up without it needing to resort to I'm going to threat, threaten people. That's what I didn't. That's what I said. Not the fucking threatening part. Just saying. You said the horror going to fucking replace you. You fucked yeah, up a no, few that's times. Not, that's not a threat. That's not a threat. Well, it is a threat, but it's a pussy threat. Not like I'm going to fucking knife you. <laughs> you get replaced if you're fucking holding the raid back, and we have the capacity to replace you. You will be. What was that one line now? What was that one line from someone? Was it from Star? It was from Nuts. If I could replace you, I would. Beautiful. <laughs> if I could. Beautiful. Okay, are we doing anything special in London? Yes, we're going to be on the Twitch main stage. Uh, I don't know if we're doing it with anyone else or if it's just going to be me and Bantz here. Uh, might be doing something. But yeah, we are on the stage there. Uh, when you do a raid as 10 people heroic, you actually have the same amount of rots, dots and stuff as 30, man. The flex doesn't work. What's up with that? Uh, 10 is the... Abs uh, look, you're probably seeing this now, right? Mythic Plus, as I highlighted this to a lot of the player base, the smaller size you have, the worse you're going to have it. Generally speaking. Okay? So if you're trying to just go with exactly 10, you're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself. Because raid mechanics don't scale properly like that. So that's why. They can't do that without making it like one rot and then it'd be a waste of time. The whole thing doesn't work. You can't have one rot in the Fendry. What would be the fucking point? The room's too big. You know what I mean? Mechanics don't work like that. Uh, okay, there's so many fucking questions here. Holy shit. Uh, should Blizzard remove the monthly fee? Nope. There's pl you can play with gold now. It's uh, Although our tank did run out of uh, game time mid-raid. Mm -hmm. You can even do Mythic Plus as a Warlock. Shocking, I know. You can. I do. It's nice carrying someone every now and again. Since your wife and kids are on holiday, you have another drama time before Friday. I'm streaming most of the week in the evenings because I'm lonely as fuck. So we'll be working during the day, have some food, and then be streamer ruining. That is how it's going to be going. So there'll be lots of streams this week. Uh, including Dark Souls 3, I think, is this week? No, 25th, I believe. 25th? God, we've got... I don't think we'll even be here. Yeah, we will. That's a Tuesday. I've got 25th of the release date. I'll double check after. Yeah, I'll check that. We need to double check that. We've got. I'll have to read update the schedule. <clears throat> Ghost is triggered. <laughs> this is so. It's much. fucking right. Uh, now, if it, I, an honest question, if someone is screwing up in your raid leading, because obviously you watched, uh, many of you watched the normal raid that I did where I took all the viewers on normal raids, is if someone makes a mistake, we say, I say, I prefer my raid leading style. Is I say instantly as it's like, don't do that or point them out. In fact, I use the nipple. It's always worked for me historically. If somebody gets the nipple, if they make a mistake, and people don't want the nipple because you stand out. Um, I don't wait till it becomes a point of anger. I don't wait for that because it's. But you sh people should know they're fucking up straight away, and then when you get replaced, they already knew why because they you called them out on it and they still continue to make that mistake. That's why I prefer to do it. Uh, I'm really the friend uh, friend Gil, but they're not as dedicated as I am. Hmm. Dark Souls DLC comes out the same day as 7.1 if it is that date. Uh, Karazando? Yes. Alright, we'll move Dark Souls then. That's going to be more important to... I need to update then because the yeah. South Park got delayed as well. I mean, we're also not going to be here for a couple of things. True. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Friends Guild and Progression doesn't often work together. No, it's not. It's not mutually exclusive, but it doesn't also mean that it's going to work. Yeah, not all friends list for me. Friends, friends. I know you have. If you either have to sacrifice one or the other, you're either going to have real fun with your IRL friends, or you're going to push for more of your personal goals in game. Uh, Battlenet exists for a reason. You can keep your friends. That's out. why I do shit like with like mythics with that with that dickhead in our in our guild that Carl Bones mate. Don't like him. Hate him. Fit sister, but a good player. Yeah. So I keep him with me, but um, I keep him close. Send us on for Spider. <laughs> yeah, the live from Ghost is why people like me already... Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people say, fuck that, you should kick him out. That power trip that you've got about being a raid leader needs to go. 
Fuck that shit, kick them out. Yeah, like threatening to kick people and all that. That's not no. how you handle it. No, don't do that. No, 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 no. You're not you, a hero because you're a raid leader. You're not a fucking hero. No, don't take the high road. You That's you not make, the high road. That's honest. It is. No, it's not. You make them aware of their mistake, and if they're continually doing it, then what do you do? do you you just, remove them. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but you make them aware of it to give them Let's a not pretend to like you games. didn't, like, threaten them. You did. I did threaten them, say that, oh, for fuck's sake. Why are you so mad about it? Because you're twisting my words. What I said was you make them aware of their mistakes to give them one last chance. Why are you banging the desk, do it again, then you remove them. And you replace them. Did that sound like what Ghosty said? Yes, exactly that. We'll leave that to the chat to decide. Because <laughs> it wasn't. It was. <laughs> was it not. fucking was. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with kicking them a raid. <laughs> so savage, I know, right? <laughs> Are you mad, though? Fuck off, all of you. Done with this now. Yes, of course the chat agrees. Not even close. Not even in the same league. There's point in involved. Back. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, I will do. Okay, you watch it back. I'm gonna do it later. I'm gonna tag you in it. <laughs> he did say multiple fuck ups. He did do that. Uh, I improved so much just in the last month at a uh, heroic and mythily, but at the same time, it's hard for me to leave my current guild because they're good people. What do I do? Yeah, a lot of people do this. I, I think most people ask me this question for validation. If you're not happy, move on. It happens. It happens. It's not the end of the world. And if you've got real good friends, you can still do Mythic Plus till the end of time with them. You know what I mean? There's loads of content you can do outside of raiding. But look at how many people. Let me put it this way. There are lots of people who are in Team 1 Stark, which is what I raid in, who have gone on and are now in like world top 10 guilds. Yeah. Several of them have done that. I still talk to them regularly and do Mythic Plus with them every now and again. It's it's not hard. Mm -hmm. It's not fucking hard. You don't need to be in the same guild as your best IRL friends. You yeah. don't need to do that. Because you'll just be pissed at the game. Nobody wants to raid the wrong level of progression unless you, like, accept it. You know what I mean? Uh, I, have problem, I have a problematic person in my raid who doesn't live up to the DPS standards. However, he's too far in the friend circle to be kicked. Let me tell you a story. That's me. Let me tell you a story. Kill Count Lost. Best guild I ever raided in, right? Uh, not in terms of progression, but just totally wonderful people. Uh, was mostly Greeks and mostly all played in the same net cafe. To say they were friends is an understatement. These guys literally raided together side by side all the time. When Wrath of the Lich King came out, three of them were rogues, right? Three of them were rogues. And these guys spent pretty much 13 hours a day together. One of them had to be kicked from the raid because he was not performing. And the raid leader and the guild master, which should always be two separate roles, by the way, uh, were both the Greeks in the cafe. They were friends with him and all that. And they had to kick him. And the result of him being kicked caused exactly out of about 15 Greeks, one person to leave temporarily. Because it depends on the level of progression, right? And that's people are going to be like, that's terrible, that's terrible. But if you are running, you can't run a guild that's like, look... We're focused on getting server first, realm first. This is what our guild's focus is. And then, like, let's say me and him are in the same guild. And we are in a guild that accepts that the goal of this guild, and the only reason we recruit people is because we do this. Mm -hmm. Right? So whatever your goal's purpose is, your guild's purpose, and then have somebody who's taking the piss. You can't have it. It doesn't work. Because guess what? It was what? a different feel, though, in Kill Count, wasn't it? It was, it was Do you remember fun. when it happened? Because it was like a big drama. Because there was, was no... I, started, I wouldn't have thought they would kick him. I don't think... I, I wouldn't have thought. Because I joined them in Wrath. As a DK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a big fucking thing. But it happened. was still the thing that I fucking miss about Kill Count, Kill Count is there was a lot of bands, a lot of bands, but literally the second you stepped foot into a fucking raid, it was business. Best raid leader, best, best raid leader I ever had. Ap ever. Yeah. Apo. Yeah, Apo. Best guild master I ever had. Yeah. And I'll tell you when I noticed the real difference between, because I was always a guild master raid leader. Always. Like, as much, when I was taking raid seriously, I was the guild master and the raid leader for like forever. Uh, was me and Napo were the tanks and he was the raid leader and I didn't understand the idea of delegating this stuff out in a guild so things should go really smoothly so we had a raid leader who was a main tank and me as the off tank a guild master and he dealt with all stuff outside of the raid we had a guy who was in charge of replacements and I loved this guy his job was to know the exact raid setup we needed for each boss and to ensure that people who was being swapped out and replaced did it on trash and our downtime between boss to boss was practically zero. Practically zero. The worst we ever had to do was literally drop a summon stone or whatever and get them there straight away. It was so good. But during tanks, uh, we've made two mistakes in Black Temple. He joined our tank channel, the Guild Master. 
And I'd never, I thought he was always in there. But no, he came in and he went, what are you two doing? Why are you doing this? Because people fed back to him overall displeasure with the tanking. And then he came in and dealt with it. And he was like, deal with it now. And then he left the channel and that was it. I was like, this is cool, man. This is cool. This is where guilds should run. It's so smooth. Yeah. Yeah, it was just such a smooth guild. I loved it. I borrowed all that stuff when I ran our guild. Um, okay. When we get the next edition of story time, it, the right opportunity needs to come up, really. Uh, okay. Are you, are you putting points into other weapons? No. I am at the minute. Oh, you've started putting it into tanking. I've started putting it into tanking purely on the grounds that with Karazhan coming out and it being five-man groups, and it, I don't think it's going to be as strictly organized as the other raids it won't be so i'm thinking that if i put points in the tank then i can assist other people because we have a lot of fucking dps and stuff that i can just i'll, I'll tank it Probably. good tanking yeah. on vengeance is fine yeah. uh, that kind of stuff uh join a friends guild to start a legion and play through mop and wad in cesspool guilds never join a guild because my anxiety and the fact that i was nervous to ruin it for other players just one shot heroic xavius annoyed that i didn't join a real guild much earlier thank you so so much for telling me that because it does feel like an uphill battle right now with what blizzard's doing it's ghost is very experience. End game mostly, always top end. Yeah. The only two uh You don't mod, play for very often historically. Well, Wad and Mop are the two expansions that I've not played a lot of. I'll, I'll play it for a couple months and then I just fuck it off because yeah. they bore me. Generous. I can't see this happening with this, but before those two, uh like Wrath, T V C Vanilla. Vanilla as well, mm -hmm. especially vanilla. I'd played it from start to finish. Yep. Yeah. yeah, always. Uh, Ghost has actually got a pretty good... As much as we played the characters in-game and stuff, Ghost has got actually a really solid uh, raiding history. I want to leave my guild and jump to a better one. I've got really good logs and a few mechanic fuck-ups, but like I'm too, uh, I feel like I'm aiming too high rank, 400 to 100. That's not too high. There's not a great difference between 400 and 100 at all. You'll be fine. Hey, remember, when you move up, everyone's got the same fingers and toes of you. Never be under the impression that somehow I've, I've heard people have all these rumors and i tried to just get rid of them in that misconceptions video like you think these top guilds don't make mistakes the biggest shock for me let me tell you is when i joined the, the one of the best guilds in the world and i was like some of these guys suck <laughs> really badly and i was totally surprised because i was expecting everything to be perfect it was still overall the best rating i'd ever done yeah but uh yeah, there was definitely the people there and i got told in fact it was one of the first whispers i got was watch out for that guy he fucking sucks he let us down here and blah 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 blah. Yeah. Um, I've not seen the Stormblood trade teaser yet. I did see it on my feed though, so I am gonna check that when I get home tonight. Would you play a Windwalker Winker Enhancement Shaman? We actually talked about this today. Our enhancement we feel like Enhancement Shaman are getting shit on at the moment because they're actually really good. I thought they was the only decent shaman spec at the minute. Yeah, pretty much. Well, Resto's really good as well. Oh, um, it's just el it's just elemental. Elemental is this, yeah. Sadly, really. Uh, but Enhancement's great, but Windwalker is... It's like... It depends what world you're in. Are you in, like, the Pug world? Because I was trying to explain this to the guys. It's like, unless you're playing the certain... People have this belief. This is the belief, right? Unless you play these certain specs, you're never going to get into a Mythic Plus through the Pug system, right? That is true, but for not the reason that you think is because your class sucks. The fact of the matter is, if everybody bigs up certain specs because they're slightly overpowered or even considerably... So you've got your Windwalkers, your Fire Mages, MM Hunters. You know, these specs that um, people really, really want. When you go into the LFG system and you're like a DPS looking for a mythic pug and you see one that's got a tank, a healer or whatever and you sign up, the guy in control of that group has a list of probably a hundred names of DPS who want to join this list. And they're picking, obviously, the classes that they consider in their mind to be overpowered. Uh, even if it's even so slightly. Ever so slightly. So I saw people saying things like, well, I can never get a run because I'm a warlock in Mythic Plus. And it's like, our warlocks are in every Mythic Plus and doing fine. So, yeah, it's how do you get out of the pug world? Check proper websites like Wild Progress. Check that they're updating them. Check their logs to make sure that they have the same consistent rating. So you're not joining a guild that's falling apart. It's very easy to do, honestly. I've done a video on it. It's on my channel. Is you go to somewhere like Warcraft Logs. You find a guild you think you want to join. That doesn't. That's not the end of the task, right? So that seems like a lot of effort to some people. It's not the end of the task. Go to Warcraft Logs. Check the guild out because they should be logging. If they're not, don't join probably. And then see, are the same sort of people there week on week? Have a lot of people left recently. Look at the, on Wild Progress, it'll show you people who've just left the guild. Just look at the names. And if you see something like, they go, they last over the last month they went Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday raids. And then the next week there was just Thursday. And then on the next week there was no raids. These are all things you should be looking for because that guild's probably dying and trying to rescue itself. Yeah? I'm now an officer position in our guild. Like you, mate. Guild I'm bank access. Me. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> and some complaints about the previous officers. Uh, we're pretty good mate. Uh, 
Uh, people ask to compose both. So we're a pretty good mythic raiding guild and three nights a week. Any tips for me as I've never been an officer? Don't take it too fucking seriously. Nobody respects officers who take themselves too seriously. In fact, you'll become a big fucking laughing joke. Generally, what you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Am I making that up? Is someone no, like, no, 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 hey, no, you're talking no, to an officer there, but oh, seriously no, says no, that? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, that's what I'm no, talking no, about. No, 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 not like that. Remember, like you, that. how many people have you seen who are like, uh, you do know I'm an officer? And I go, wow. wow. I could not piss on you less. <laughs> Literally could not. Yeah. <laughs> an officer, you try and make sure people feel they can talk to you, you honestly. You ghosty farm some herbs for your guild. Nice one. I did farm herbs for the guild when I started. I didn't make you do that. No, not you. I think he's talking to someone else or someone said anything. But if someone's bragging about me farming stuff for the guild, you might want to check the bank logs. But we'll get to that another time. What's wrong with that? No, some. We no, just we all just did it. We all had I mean, for like, uh, Vantus rings they, or some shit. They, they asked what. Uh, well, Vanish asked me to take skinning and herbalism. I did, and then once I capped, I. It's a very big out. part of a new expansion is make sure the professions are square. You got to make sure the professions. Of course you do. Organize. This is what I'm saying. You might find that weird, but organized guilds that I'm trying to get you guys into do this stuff. They do this stuff. They make sure the professions are square. What are you going to be rolling? <laughs> uh, I share your guild application videos to people if anyone bitches about not being able to join guilds. Yeah, they pretty much have a 100% success rate. There's nobody who's done exactly what I said in the joining guilds and not got in. Uh, I'm having issues achieving consistency in high-end game. I can't stay long enough for some reasons and the nails in the coffins is being behind in the curve. I'm feeling heavily discouraged to play one now because of it. I'm not sure what he's saying. Do you, you get that? I one? think yeah, he's he can't consistently stay for raids, maybe because of times or because of his work. He doesn't specify that, but I think that's just that's physical gonna, physical presence. Yeah, I think that that's going to be damaging. Yeah, that so guild's probably not for you then, unfortunately. I mean, I don't blame a guild that's like if you. I mean, we actually have an interesting scenario: is that one of our priests, uh, Dan, great great healer, but he works nights. So what he actually does is come for like a couple of hours. And then he has to leave, but he raids as much as he possibly can. Uh, and it's fine because the guild understands that and they want him there. So it, it kind of works that way. But if you're lucky switching guilds and stuff, that's not going to be doing that. Um, can anyone join Stark if you've done so as an Horuk? You don't need to have even done that to join Stark. Well, it just, doesn't mean you that you'll get a raid spot. Yeah, you've got to apply. There's five raid teams in Stark in our guild, right? Our guild is so big it's across two guilds. And this will blow your minds. So let me get your opinions on this. This is something that our man Vanish introduced. And I've got to be honest, at first I fucking hated it. I thought he was an absolute dickbag for doing it. But now I've come around to it. It's actually really good. Our guild, the Stark guild, which started as a community guild by this man, is now so big, so big, it's at now two guilds. So last, about, no, more, four weeks ago, about a month less ago, than less, less than, than that. that, less than that, the guild had to split in two to accommodate all the members of our community and people who were in there. Because there's so many raid teams, we needed more bank space, we needed more control, there wasn't enough guild ranks for everybody. And so they split the guild in two, and in both guilds they disabled guild chat. There's no guild chat active in either guild. And then they created a universal global channel that is the actual guild chat of the guild. You just recall that to green. You're not missing It's anything. exactly the same thing. And at first I was like, this is fucking retarded. Uh, <coughs> honestly, I, it's well, worked for me. Well. And plus you can join and leave it. Yeah. Because there are so many people, you can drop out every now and again. And, you know, it doesn't really matter. It actually works just fine. It's really interesting. Uh, there's some, there is some problems with it. Occasionally you get somebody who finds out the name of the channel and joins and they have to be kicked. Mm -hmm. uh, every now and again you'll see a wall of grats and you don't know what it is because it's something that came up in the other guild chat. So it's people getting legendaries or... Um, the first real experience, because it happened on the first world, is we killed Mythic Nathandra or whatever the mm -hmm. first you know the first week and nobody said grats because nobody had accommodated to the idea. Because at first everyone was like, I'm not fucking doing that. You know what I mean? I'm fucking join As if I'm going to join that channel like some fucking dog. Uh, but now everybody's kind of moved over to it, so it's pretty good. Do you have socials in the guild? Mm. Hundreds of socials in oh, the guild? Yeah. Hundreds, hundreds of socials in the guild? Hundreds. Yeah, there's shitloads. I mean, a lot of the. Um, there's five raid teams, but with the guild so big, it needs two guilds. So, yeah, there's a lot of fucking casuals in there. Loads but it's not split by one one of the guilds is raid, one of them social. It's literally a couple of raid teams here, a couple of raid teams mm -hmm. here, fill socials. See, I wanted to talk about this in a video because you um, you brought this subject up to me is the idea of clicks in guilds, mm -hmm. and I I I see. I mean, people probably think I'm in a click because most of my mythics, my mythic pluses, 
occur with essentially the same people. Mm -hmm. Because if there's a free spot, they just ask me to come. Because I'm accessible, you know, during the day or something. I might need some footage or whatever. So they just send me a whisper and it's like, do you want to come? Or they just message me over Skype. Um, I don't think it's wrong that if you play with your teammates in raids. I get that. I don't think there's a problem with I that. I get that. And you're always going to like more people than other people. I get that. I just don't... I, I see that part of it and I completely appreciate that part. You're going to want to do that. You build mm. familiarity with them. They're your, your, your e-friends, mm -hmm. basically. But I don't think that should then, if someone, if like a random or a casual or someone that's in a different team says something, guild chat, maybe a question, maybe um, an invite for a group or asking people for a group, I don't think that, that should be disregarded because it's like... Oh, no, it's exclusion is like, a very different thing. Yeah. If you're excluding well, that's, people... That's what I would, yeah, that's there's what a very... There's That's a very, I, mean. I think people, um, I think people confuse exclusion with those guys are in a clique because they only play together. As if we yeah. have, I mean, I think the impression is that some, certain people have these like ongoing constant conversations that other people aren't a part of, which mm -hmm. is never usually the case, honestly. I mean, people chill and it's not as if you can't join a Discord channel, right? Say hi, you know, when you join yeah. a guild and stuff like that. Um, but it's, it's always interesting to me that uh, yes, there is exclusion or people expect to know. You think a lot of people expect that? Let's say you log on. And in our guild, there might be 400 people on or something like that, right? Some, you know, in the Stark system. And you're like, anybody want to join for Mythic Plus? And only a couple of people are maybe even non-reply and they feel ignored. Do you I feel obligated what, to say no to that? Because I think that is wrong. That to no, I don't that. think that I should say no to that. I just like, I, I'll tell you what, I'll give you my personal experience. And it has happened in Stark. It's, it's it happens in every guild. guild. It happens in every guild. But like... Usually I'll ask something and I've asked a couple of questions and I've noticed that there'll be at least 200 people, 150 people online. Mm. But it'll be not a question that I'll just search for online. It'll be a question that someone in-game will be able to tell me like that, maybe a bit of a descriptive or something, and then nothing gets responded and I sit there seething. Do you really? Until I have to follow up with another comment and then I'll get about four whispers with answers of what it is. Mm. That's not just a stark thing. That's just, I, I hate that. It's, it's semi -injurious. My personal thing on that is... I see a lot of questions that I could answer, but I see so many every single day that at a certain point I do ignore them. You know, like it's. I get that, but if I don't see a question answered, then I will answer it. Yeah, so I, I feel that way like, as well. I, I always like is that pause, isn't it? Like, that's what it actually is. Is somebody asks a question and you're probably doing something. So I might be in a dungeon because what my online time I'm always doing something. And in fact, it annoyed some guys because they were like, "Oh, we need a healer. Somebody will be on in ten minutes." I'm like relogged. I was like, "Well, I'm not sitting here waiting. I don't like that." Um, but there is that pause where you're like. So we're going to answer that because I'm doing something because I'm online. I'm actually yeah, doing yeah. something, right? It's not as if I'm flying on a mount all the time. <coughs> anyway, interesting, interesting. Uh, I feel like I can't find a class besides my rogue. I really want a range class that has a frost pace to the playstyle, similar to a rogue, but I don't mind either melee. I'm not into what the mage. Again, sorry? Maybe try a Shadow Priest serum, because that has that build-up spender style. I mean, Shadow Priest is so cool. Although they might fuck Shadow Priest in seven point one. Are they? They might, for it. They're going to change it. They've announced that they're going to change it. Yeah, have they still kept that uh, talent? Yes, but Strength of Madness is the problem because right now there is literally no other choice. Like, Strength of Madness is the only choice, and that's not fun. I do kind of agree with that. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the point of a talent tree if there's just one choice in yeah. it, right? Uh, at least with my mage, there's two. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy with that. Um, but they're going to do something to the tier that Serenity Madness is in to make the other two options more inviting. What we're hoping is they don't just crush Serenity Madness. Yes. Because that's so. they've done that historically. They have done that. It's like, oh, we don't want everyone taking Serenity Madness. So instead of making the other two better, they just fuck Serenity mm -hmm. Madness. So we'll have to wait for that. I'm hoping they do something <laughs> like with Demon Hunters, you know. I want less reliability on momentum. Yeah, you don't want momentum. I do want some momentum mechanic, but I want less reliability. With it only being four seconds, mm. and the chances are you're you're either going to have to suffer your DPS or you're going to have to make a risky dash yep. in a lot of circumstances. I don't like that. But like Nemesis, which is a uh, it's cool for it's, dungeons. It's, it's, Nemesis <laughs> is yeah. I know momentum's good for dungeons. Yeah. That's what makes you the trash man. But Nemesis itself, like on trash, it'll you put it on one target, you kill it, it goes to other targets and shit. But it's a bullshit. It's a bullshit. It's a flat on and off kind of thing whereas momentum you can keep it going i love the the visual of it but as an actual dps it's a pain in the ass it's a pain in the ass and yeah. you need to make something competitive with it i'm interesting how many of you um maybe this is the wrong time to bring up negatives i was just thinking is anybody actually considering re-rolling at this point but now you've settled into the game i'd be love to do that i'm getting set for mythic progress i played on holy dk 
Uh, and on my Warcraft logs, I make purple... Uh, sorry, that. Uh, purples that I never really want to mess up mechanics. Due to my lack of mobility, volunteering for mechanics is unrealistic. Uh, it tells my raid leader about rerolling. He said, no, they want me a DK. What should I do? I would stick with your DK. DKs are actually... I get that DKs are getting this hard time right now. What I can tell you is that our DKs are actually very, very good when we do bring them into the raid. But they do have some negatives, which other classes are better. So you... You look, I mean, there's fights that really fuck DKs right now on the mobility okay. side. One of them would be the Dragons of Nightmare. Dragons of Nightmare require the melee to do, uh, Mythic I'm talking about here, required enorm require enormous mobility in order to be good at what they do on that fight, which is basically not take part in the fight for the most part, if you've ever done it. If the and I'm sure the melee love the Emerald Dragons, but um, DKs doesn't look good enough. But then you get fights like the Eye, and DKs are actually really good there. So I just wait and see. I just wait and see. I wait and see. Uh, Pally, I wish they could change. Uh, oh, artifact power. Well, let's ask this question then. Are we? Am I? I am over artifact power. I'm right. done with it. I don't care. I do not give a shit anymore. The numbers are now. In fact, I do want to double check this because I got a trait today, uh, just passively. But I am done giving a shit about it. It's now got to the point where it's just so high. That's Things why, from World yeah, Quest and stuff are no, so insignificant along that line. It's not just that; it's it's the it's the insignificant portion of traits that you're now having to save up this mass amount of uh, artifact power to. Let me hear you. Uh, it's your fault. It's just a it's a message. Oh, um, exactly. But yeah, you need a dick load of artifact power just to use those the the shittiest of traits just to get your final fourth dragon. This is what I was talking about. The fourth dragon fucked me. Have we got anything that's actually showing well? Yeah, we have. Like, this is where I'm at now. So I'm at the stage now. I mean, this really ruined my experience with artifact power when this appeared. Because I've said it many times, I didn't know this was in the game. So when I picked up my third golden dragon, uh, which was this flame shock, uh, flame strike one, um, I was really looking forward to being able to like, maybe go into another weapon because, you know, there's some DPS upgrades left and stuff, but nothing mega. And then I saw this appear, and it, I just lost all enthusiasm for this system, which is like, it forces you to fill out... I mean, 5% damage at our gear levels now is absolutely ridiculous. Yep. It's enormous. It's absolutely enormous. And in order to get there, I have to pick this up. And I have to get three points in that. And currently I need 241,000 artifact power to pick this kind of shit up. And I can't even get this yet. So what I'm going to have to get is because I need to get this damaged out by flame strike by 5%, which is super fucking boring. And then I get this one, which is scorch movement speed, right? This is uh, shit. Check that. What? Apparently 5% that goes up by 1% to 15%. Yeah, I've heard that, but I'm not sure if we've got a concrete source on that. If anyone's got a concrete source, please say so, because that is overwhelmingly powerful. Not just to that, the point it's of stupidity. Boring. It's boring as fuck. Anything that's a flat di damage increase is boring as fuck. But if that stacks, that is super, super stupid. And I don't think that could possibly even exist. But if it does, and we've got a super source, the wow heart, wow head. If that's true, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Because it's just so sad. It goes up to 20%. Like, why? Why? Because this is not fun, right? It's not just that, mate. It's uh, not fun. Imagine the amount of... I don't think the catch-up mechanic for your alts is going to benefit it quick enough for it to get up to the fucking power where your alt is going to be viable for raids mm. if it's a 20% increase in your weapon power. Short of me getting one artifact item and it going bang, 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 bang for a shitload of uh, points in my weapon... Your alts are going to be less considered, or anything like that, or to bring to a raid because of the amount of fucking. Power yeah, it's going to take millions. That is. It's going to take millions, yes, but we are going to get to the point. I think the lads calculate it's around either late December or early January where you'll be picking up millions anyway. But by then, it's going to be in the stupid amounts. But it's just so boring, yeah. and it's just like. Look, look, why this i think this is one of the most criminal additions to the artifact system yeah i think it's absolutely it it. criminal it did not need this at all it did absolutely did not need this to exist and i would be more than happy if they removed it because people just don't need 
There is nothing interesting about... I mean, there's nothing interesting about anything I'm picking up now. Apparently, the last point, it's going to cost 54 million. It, like, remember, we keep scaling up all the time. Yeah, we scale up, yeah, we scale up saying, all like, the time. But that? at that point, you're like... <laughs> but that's so powerful. So powerful. It's just so much. And it's it's depressed me and demotivated me about the whole system. This one little thing over here has really ruined this artifact system. Because I'm okay with the artifact system. I think it's quite cool. I like it. Yeah, especially... But <clears throat> the interesting thing is the artifact system is designed so you pick up the good stuff first. Mm -hmm. And then the most expensive, tedious stuff to get is the boring stuff. The really... The last points, the things that's going to cost me millions is this. And I don't want it. But I can't not be without this. You can't ignore that. Yeah. I can't not be without this. This needs to go. It's terrible. It's terrible in all respects. It's not fun. It's certainly not class fantasy. Like, oh, you got more damage. Way. Yeah. If I want to now, like, Flame Strike doesn't mean a great deal to me. It's like... Do you know what though, It's more for about, sure. Like, emphasizing on what you just said there is like, even though it, it gimped me because it was one of the... I think it was the last stat that I should have got as my weapon is... When I use my Rage Spender, it, like, it spawns the soul of a demon that jumps out of my weapon and smashes into the ground. It looks amazing, mm. right? That's fucking cool. It's like unleashed like you're in a demon and blah, blah, blah. There's even a bit of story. Not so much story, but like a descriptive. There's a quality animation. That last point that you've then got to keep stacking is just a flat damage buff. It's so... See, that's not true. Like Some people say, well, don't get it. Stop bitching about it. Don't get it. Are you you, you me? don't understand what this is. If you're saying that, you don't understand don't... what this means, particularly to some anybody who raids. You have, really do not understand how powerful that is. You don't get it. And that's, that's okay. I'm not blaming you, but don't tell people that. Do not tell people, well, just don't get it if it's a problem. It's like, you, you're not getting it. <laughs> what that trait is, is a raid nerf. Yes. Oh, wow, yeah, that's exactly really well thought. It's exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. And it's... It makes me feel... I mean, I'm sure as many other people in my position just don't get it. <laughs> the fucking chat is the most sarcastic chat on Twitch, I swear to God. The most sarcastic chat. But yeah, this is the big thing that's really fucked... Like, lost me. Lost me. <laughs> yeah, a massive... A 5% damage boost for every single... We're already in the millions of DPS on pull, right? <laughs> We're already in the millions. You're only 5% of that. It's fucking crazy powerful. It's ludicrous. But yeah, if a lot of people keep asking me this, so I'm just going to prove it because I don't know why. You don't believe me. But uh, uh, it's, a well, it's a game nerf. What? It's not even a raid nerf. It's a game nerf. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Nothing spent. <laughs> I have uh, the traits in there. I've got Mythic 9 fucking stuff in there. But nope. Not spent a single point in anything, anything else whatsoever. You <laughs> raiding's just a job anyway, so who cares? You are on on the money today. You are on the money, doodaloo. Doodaloo. Woo! And I haven't even done that one. <laughs> Wee! There you go. <laughs> there you go. Wee! How exciting! How exciting! Already, I've got traits already. I'm so excited. Uh, but there. I was speaking to uh, Piro last night, mate. Oh, yeah. You are one of the lowest geared people. In Worse than that, I was the... I was officially the lowest geared raider in our raid team. I was number one. I'm not anymore. Piro was talking <laughs> I'm about... I'm not anymore. I'm 8-6-6 six, now. Kicking you. Uh, I, I, to be fair, not through the lack of trying. I just haven't been lucky with drops at all. I mean, I've done, I've done more... You got lucky on your monk, though, didn't you, mate? I did get lucky on my monk. Uh, but yeah, I was officially the lowest gear. And plus, it didn't help that we were away on Wednesday, so I missed it's normal true. and heroic clears. And they, I missed normal, heroic, and th four, three or four mythic bosses. Uh, but there you go. But my deep's fine. Of course. Of course. Uh, okay. Uh, let's take a couple more questions before we call it and go and have some fun. I consider re rolling either Enhanced Mage or Windwalker Monk. It was unholy, but I'm losing interest. Okay. Are you asking a question? Are you asking my opinion? I'd go Windwalker or whatever. And yet, because you got decent stats, it's not like... Yeah, exactly. The gearing... I mean, my item level was the lowest. Let's put it that way. My item level was the lowest. But carried? No, sir. <laughs> carried. Say what you will Carri about my item Say level. Say what you want, but my stats were crisp. My stats were crisp, and that doesn't matter. Which Could is... you copy past the questions? Uh, but yeah. Do you pet... But oh, what's your, what's your pet score, though? Yeah, exactly. Lowest item level. But uh, yeah, I'm fine. 
I mean, my, my, my class helps me a lot. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure there was, uh, if I was playing some other class, I wouldn't do it. But uh, I could, I, I think I can have 872 now. I think I can equip 872, but why the fuck, you know. I don't no even humor that, mate. What? If if I pick up an item and it's like, I mean, I've got my, one of my trinkets is like, is it 8 fucking 95 or some bullshit like that? Um, and I got another item. Um, and it was a massive, massive item upgrade, but it had no crit on it. I wouldn't even keep that in my bag. No, mate. not I at all. Fucking shit not at all. candid no. straight away. No fuck way. your item level. Uh, but remember now, don't disenchant your fucking raid trinkets because they're going to fucking... This is what I want to talk about. I want to fucking talk about this. Stop fucking about with the gear. We're over it, right? Those of us who know what we're doing and especially everybody else who's collecting everything anyway, you're either in the position of the pug world where you're collecting everything anyway for item level, fine. Or you're in the raid world and you know what's good and what's bad and you've worked it out. Emerald Nightmare is done. We know about it. We've, we've gathered it. We know what we need to get. Stop fucking with it. And they're going to fuck about with the trinkets. Really? Yeah, they're going to change it because some are good and some are bad. That's fine. We're fucking over it. Stop fucking about with the gear. Just leave it there. It's, not it's done. Like, We're past it. That's what I mean. Fix it in the future. Don't go back. It's not like people need these changes now. Yeah, it's, the it's legendary thing. The legendary thing with everyone getting one and two. We're over it. We're done with it. It's not a thing anymore. Just fucking go forward with it working correctly, right? Stop fucking around with it because now you're going to have people going I disenchanted that and I'm to use item restore and all that kind of stuff just leave it alone yeah, for the stuff that's, that's already in game please 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 no I've not looked at that old stuff but again change it then change it then fix it then leave the stuff that's in game alone we're over it it, it keeps causing these waves right. yeah it keeps causing these waves the water's settled now for most of us we know the system we're fine with it we're over it just leave it there Leave it there. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> yeah, I just said restoring items. I just said that, right? You did just say that. I literally just said you that. You literally just said that. I'm just saying don't go back and try and retcon it. It fucks around with everybody. It's no, there's no reason for us to get all these waves going in. Uh, they get complaints about every day about millions of people. Fucking boo About what? Have you either got it or not? You're not making sense with what you're saying. Just complaints about what? That you got a trinket and it wasn't as powerful as you wanted to do? That happens of every day with everybody. That's fine. That's happened since the beginning of time in World of Warcraft. It's okay. It's all right. Still no legendary. <laughs> What's it's not your funny, mate? What? Having no legendary. I might as well not have one. You, you think you're funny, do you? You no. got two. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got two, but I don't want to wear it. No, Joe, I don't think it's funny. Nine. I don't Let me like tell it. you this. I finally got my um, class hall completely upgraded. You know that final little talent there you can equip two legendaries do you think they intended people to have two legendaries by now i think they intended them to fucking have at least one at I least think so. one i think they would have expected you to have what do you guys one. think on that do you guys think they intend or thought people would have two by now i mean now we've completed the process to be able to equip two uh, i don't think so i it think makes it's sense, there for right? you to do it but I don't I think they expect you to have to by this point. There's no way. It seems strange then that that isn't something that came with like 7.1 or so. You know, so, so you got something to use resource items in the future. I get that, but I don't think that they would. No. No, I don't think It so. seems like a very strange upgrade to be able to get now. If the intention is that you might have one, you might have none by Well, you've got to account for the fact that there are people, obviously, that we know now that have got like three and four and shit like that. Mm. Whereas people have still got none. I think that that's there for just when you do get two. I don't think it's their mentality that you will have two by now. It would make would it make no more sense from a design perspective though to be where people are in a position to have two, and then it. and then at some point it's like okay now we're going to give you the ability to have that. Yeah, I get that. That would I make more that. sense, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, I'm a casual player who hasn't played for several months, but I love your content. Is Legion worth it? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Uh, do you do a lot of your uh, and do a lot of your viewers not play? I believe a huge portion of my viewers don't play well. Uh, yeah, a rather large portion. But generally not the newest ones, the older ones, more realistically, uh, which is fine. Which is good because we've got loads of content coming for those guys as well, which has <laughs> been painstaking. Mm. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. We get there. Are you happy with your choice of mage? Yeah. Yeah. It's always like, uh, I think you have to be careful because you play an alt, because I know which alts are really good, right? There's a reason I leveled my monk. You guys know I rated it as like one of the number one melee classes in the game. If not number one, did I put it as number one? I think you did. Um, and when I play that, I'm like, this is really good. 
This is really, really, really fun. But I have no issues playing my mage. There's no point I've raided so far. I was like, I wish I wasn't on my mage. Because I get to do all sorts of cool stuff on my mage. Um, I've, I've done loads of stuff. Especially on, like, the recent one we did was the Dragons of Nightmare. Like, soaking them really horrible flowers that land in the purple shit and people are getting feared and I'm an yeah. overpowered undead. Uh, which is just a carry, by the way, on the Emerald Dragons. It's absolutely ridiculous. And why the guild hasn't re-rolled already to stop wasting our time is beyond me. But, um... Just like doing the ice blocks and stuff, and being able to blink around has been really, really advantageous. Thankfully, mate, the only race I can be on a demon hunter is a blood elf. <laughs> yeah, so I'm happy with my mage. Not so the straight up DPS. I think if I had to stand there casting pyros all day, uh, I'd be fed up by now. But all the other utility of the mage has kept me very, very uh, interested in it. So no, I don't regret it. Uh, thank you for saying I'm raiding again. Yes, four out of seven normal. That's fine. But we're having fun, and we're father who's enjoying. That's it. a big fucking thing. Is you're having fun. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, yeah. When you change, you miss stuff. The grass is always greener. Always greener. So you see somebody doing something on one particular fight, and you're like, God, that looks so cool. I want to do that. And people re-roll based on that one moment that they saw. Or they, I mean, classically with PvP, it was a warrior fucking charged me and fucking killed me in two hits. Rerolling. I did that, mate. That's when I started playing Paladin in vanilla when I saw your nephew fucking want three people on his Paladin mm. in real world PvP, not in a battleground. And I was on my rogue at the time and I was just like, I want that. <laughs> and then I rolled the pack and capped a Paladin because of that. Yeah, well, loads of people used to do that back in the day. Thoughts now, Kane? I haven't touched it on live at all. Not touched it, not played it once. The only thing I've played is Frost. I played Frost to do some of the achievements. That was it. Hilariously, because I wanted to spec with no cleave. <laughs> so I played Frost uh, for some of the dungeon achieves. Uh, why do you hate Survival Hunters? Are you the guy who's always in Violet Hold? <laughs> there's somebody, I, every time I get into Violet Hold on the Daily Heroic, there's a guy that goes, Why do you hate Survival Hunters? I swear to God, it's happened four times. Really? Is it, I'm, mm. not, I'm really interested to play a Survival Hunter. Uh, I, yeah. I don't, I've not seen anything of it. It beat up three people IRL. <laughs> Arcane is NT spam. Yeah, it's not really exactly viable, which is good. Uh, any comments on the current state of prop warriors? And nothing further to what I said in my pre-beta stuff is that I just would not play one. Do not like the way that thing plays. I at fucking all. even though like a lot of people, the general consensus is boring. I've changed my. It sounds like such a fucking weird thing. My main alt to a prop paladin. Yeah, but before you finish, that's not because of the gameplay. You like the visuals. It's visuals and the gameplay. I love the fucking... Oh, all you've told me about is the visuals. You yeah, just say it looks like, fantastic. Even tanking today, I just I just enjoyed it. I know that there is downtime. I get that and stuff. But I just... I really, really enjoy it. Can we put that... Can we say... And I don't know whether you're going to be annoyed by this. But you say is that you not have a great confidence when it comes to tanking. And is it no, the simplistic... No, flat out, flat out. Yeah, is it the simplistic gameplay that actually attracts you to it? Because... Possibly, yeah, I mean, you possibly. literally press what's not on cooldown with a prop paladin. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's... Uh, I, if it's not a DPS, I've got a very diminished level of confidence. Like, healers especially, but then above that is, is tanking. But I get what a tank's supposed to do. It's just I don't like... I don't like responsibility. I just like fucking damaging things and being amongst, like, the, the fucking bros. But I just like it. And like you said, you're not wrong. A, a big part of that is the fucking visuals. Like, the changes that they've made to the existing animations and stuff like that with the sound effects, but just the, the playstyle. I enjoy how it's mm. changed now from... Um, previous expansions as well. Mm. I do like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I, this, this class is good for that. <clears throat> uh, okay, <laughs> tank anxiety can be crippling. Yeah, I mean, I've I've never had that. I think the only time I ever had tank anxiety was the first time I ever tanked a raid because I was under the impression uh, in noobishness mm -hmm. that um, how can someone hold threat against thirty nine people? How is that possible? And I remember thinking that as I stepped into a raid for the first time with a fucking sword and shield. And I was like, it's hard enough against three people in a dungeon. How can you hold threat against fucking like 39 people? That's insane to me. And then you realize you're actually just holding threat against one. Whoever's the top threat. That's all you're doing. Yeah. It, it, it does, it, there could be a thousand people DPS in this target. I have to hold threat against one person. It's not even, That's it. Nobody threat else. threat is not even that challenging anymore. Yeah, that aspect's gone, but um, I, but that was when I'm saying my anxiety when I first started because I yeah. the first thing I the, the first raid I ever tanked was Anixia, um, and I was like I don't know how I can handle this, and I was like there's no way I can do enough stuff, and then you just realise it's like 
there could literally be hundreds of thousands of people DPS on this target, and I'm You're just, just competing against. I'm just competing threat. against num one person. That's yeah. it. Uh, and then press under armor, bro. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, I've been looking for months for what's remaining Legion. I'm enjoying the hell out of assassination role. Cool. I had a taste of that the other day, mate. Finally, 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 because I've always had to play combat and not been able to play assassination for fucking years. And I did the I did the mission to get the Kingslayers. Oh, I, I like what they've done to change it. I miss a big part of assassination. It wasn't obviously dancing between the shadows like subtlety. Mm. But a big part of assassination was impact striking. It was your poisons. It was your mm -hmm. bleeds. But your impact of your mutilating shit, but now it's obviously a lot of it's based on bleed. Yep. I fucking like that. It's it's like it's very like meticulous. It's sort of like that samurai thousand cut thing. Type I think deal. I said it in the the pre beta view is that I like the playstyle. I it doesn't fit with what I think an assassin is. Uh, an assassin generally doesn't leave the goriest mess of all time, which is what assassination mm. does now. I did, uh, in a, and uh, Legion was all about the thematic class, your class theme. Uh, like warlocks have got the excellent class theme of having. Um, to be able to take a lot of damage and not move out yeah. of stuff. Uh, but I didn't think Assassination fit that theme of the blood and gore because it feels very gory. But I like the playstyle. Yeah, the way that I, 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 I know what you're saying, but mm. then you've got to have that kind of feel in subtlety because that's based on its name, really. Or mm. it should be based on its name. Yeah, blood for the blood god. Yeah, I like it. Blood for the blood god. Dark pack carry. <laughs> the warlocks constantly remind me. Uh, or Pirouin, I should say specifically, when he doesn't move out of Volcanic. It's like, because that's my class theme. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, Ian Hasikos has told me that's what I should be doing. <laughs> that's what I should be doing. Uh, would you ever could do a stream where you try plus Mythic plus with a viewer group? After seeing, I was talking to the guys about this as well, because I need to do Heroic this week. I still haven't done Heroic. Um, Ghostine just needs to talk a bit louder. I think I'll come a bit closer, maybe. We need smaller chairs, ideally. Well, these chairs are good, aren't they? I see that, but they are comfy. They are comfy. Um, I loved taking people to normal yesterday. We so we took people to normal, which was mostly members of our guild, but we also we took the max people, so it was thirty people. Um, and uh, there was loads of people who'd never seen normal before. And then we did the when we killed Xavius because we cleared all of Emerald Nightmare. Loads of people got the achievement. It must have been about 13, 14 people got the achievement that they'd never done it before and they got it. And, the, and then we we had everybody on Discord as well, which actually worked. We had the entire raid on our Holy. Discord and nobody said anything stupid to the point where it'd be like, okay, we can't do this ever again. Um, and it was great. It was great bants. I painted people with the nipple uh, constantly and stuff and just got through the raid. Um, I'm just wary of putting people in content that's too difficult them because I don't like measuring people. How am I? Let me, put, let me ask you this question because I'm going around the houses here. I'm going to about to do after this a heroic viewer raid. I'm going to get all you guys through heroic Xavius, right? I'm going to get everybody the heroic ahead of the curve achievement. How do I vet people? You can't. How do you do it? You'd have to do the think... standard eye level and achievement, mate. Which I can't do, and I refuse to do. Exactly. So I you refuse can't to do, do it. Just... But there is certainly a certain point where you are as good as you might be. You know, I mean, heroic is easy. Mm. But at the same time, you do have to have a kind of grasp of mechanics. And what I don't want to do is take people um, take people into a raid that's going to be a failure and leave with a sour taste. Everyone was so happy after the normal clear and they were saying we're doing heroic now. And I was like, no, because this is a really good atmosphere yeah. right now. And, as you know, I'm always bearing in mind that we're still I'm on the stream and I'm doing a show. You know, I'm still trying to hopefully make people happy. And I'm like... At which point can we do that? We can probably do Heroic Pug. There's going to be wiping and stuff. You know, it's going to happen at some point. I mean, we only wiped once yesterday on Scenarius, and that was at 10%. Mm. It's pretty good. Uh, no, because I, I can't base much on armory and stuff, right? I can't, no, because I, I don't yeah, want to take fall. on the elites. Actually, I, I'll be honest with you. As, stu as You know, as back as it sounds, look at those suggestions. The people I really want to be in those raids are the people who ordinarily can't do it and are likely not to have those achievements. Almost like a raid school, which is what Stark used to do, raid school. But they turn more into like raiders coming in, sort of carrying the dungeon. Yeah. Uh, which doesn't really work. You're not learning anything there. So, and I think putting people on stream through that environment is not a good no. idea. Yeah, there's all sorts of, if you think about it realistically, there's a lot of problems with that that I don't think will do nest, that will, will play well. So, I don't know. So, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of things there that you have to worry about. I mean, we had people dying. We had, like, this 
elemental shaman. I forget his name. Maybe chat knows. He died on the Thendra. I mean, that guy had some heroic Emerald Nightmare gear mm. and died on the Thendra normal. I mean, that's that's just the thing that happens. Uh, but you got, uh, what plays a big factor in that situation <laughs> that you can't realize atmosphere? <laughs> what? What? It's one of the members of Team 2. I just thought I'd throw him under the bus for probably the 15th time. <laughs> 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 Funny. He got so upset. <laughs> he got so <laughs> It's grew in there. What, me? <laughs> Just a bit of bounce, mate. A bit I of like bounce. it, mate. Solid yeah. bounce. I might try to do something like that, but I might do it off stream. So we'd have to like set a date, you know? I'll have to figure out how to do that. Because I want people to feel confident in failing. Does that make sense? Confident in no. failing. I probably want too much out of it. I want to take people who've never raided and take them through a smooth run of heroic Emerald Nightmare. That's what I want to do. Well, that's that's like a sugar coating. Well, no, because um, how many people here have not raided at all yet? What have we got? We've got a couple of thousand people here. Who you got? Didn't get healed. <laughs> how many people here have not raided at all? Because there are definitely lots of you because we took some of you yesterday. I want those guys to do it. What normal mode or heroic? Well, I want heroic because I haven't done it yet. But, uh, I want heroic time. Yeah, normal's fine. I mean, we can get most people through normal. Fucking heroic ten man going after this. Wouldn't do heroic ten man. Why? Because the mechanics are shit on ten. Yeah, but you get a clear and a potential chance of loot upgrades, mate, which is the sole purpose yeah. of going. I'd go at least 20, 30 ideally. You make it sound like it's going to be challenging, though. Uh, yeah, it is. The lower the people is. Actually, some of the bosses are actually really twatty. I don't mean like with people from stream. Fuck those guys. <laughs> I like you, I like your style. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know, I'll think about it. Mythic Pluses, certainly. Mythic Pluses, certainly. Not up to a certain point, like, I don't know. Like, somebody, uh, this is interesting as well, because Pyram was saying, like, Volcanic evolves constantly checking your feet to make sure you're not going to get blown up, right? Um, was saying that this is a really good mechanic for teaching people not to stand in stuff. And I disagree with that. I think, uh, especially once you get to the higher ones, like Mythic 9 and 10, and then above that, obviously. I think anybody who struggles with that kind of mechanic isn't going to make it very far in there to the point of frustration and leave. Because it happens like every few seconds and stuff. Seven's a, probably an appropriate level. I think it starts at seven, right? The second affix starts at seven. Oh, my key's only at six, so I need to kick one in this week and before it resets so I get my cash. I mean, I love Mythic Plus. I like the it. The process like of Mythic it. Plus teaches you so many different games. The gameplay is different every week in Mythic Plus. I love Mythic Plus. I every just don't week. like Court of Stars on a Demon Hunter. Hmm. That, yeah, that fucking, it. that like sort of really confined area of fighting when I'm trying to get momentum and the amount of fucking ninja pulls that I do is is criminal. Well, that was the level 10 I did today. It was Court of Stars level 10 with Volcanic and uh, Sanguine. That doesn't sound good. The imp boss was fun. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> the imp boss was really funny. So we had the pools of the fire. In fact, uh, we did a Halls of Valor 9 or 10 as well. That was worse. Because there's some legitimate one-shot mechanics in there that you could just fuck you. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, Volcanic can be invisible, especially in Court of Stars. <laughs> it can totally be invisible, uh, which is a fucking pain in the ass, but yeah, it was good. Uh, Cosmo the Demon Hunter is fun. <laughs> court, it's Court of Piss. Court, I tell you what, fuck Court of Stars. Three times, the last three times we've been in there, we have had the worst possible buffs you can get. And it's fucking bollocks the difference that makes. Especially if you're doing plus ten. We only we took near enough everything. The only buff we couldn't have got, I think, was the Brewmaster food one. You need like either a brewmaster or a cooking 800, that one. Whichever one that is, it gives you like 15% health. And nothing else was there. No haste buff, no crit buff. None of it was there at all. Fucking bollocks the effect that has on the dungeon. It's fucking bollocks. Absolute shit show. So they need to fix that and kind of standardize that buffs. <coughs> yeah, why the fuck can you get buff on? I don't get it. I don't get it. So the warlock one was missing, so we had to kill all the fucking sentries. The, there was nothing there for enchantment. There's nothing else forever. We had a monk one. That we, the, the, yeah, but the monk one's shit, right? It's like 2% health every three seconds. <laughs> Court of Stars 10. Oh, great. I'm fucking that saved now. <laughs> I'm fucking saved now. Uh, Sanguine's not bad. Sanguine's not bad. Sanguine's okay. It didn't really... Well, in 10, it like, wrecks the tank completely, which is alright. You guys have an enhancement shaman? No, we don't take one actually. We don't. Uh, we had an elemental shaman, but he uh, had some trouble with his net and has disappeared. Yeah, pretty bummer. There's two more. Yeah, we got the monk one that gives two percent. We couldn't get the food one. 
I know that. There was no Warlock one. There was no Enchanting one. No Tailoring one, I don't think. I think we got Movement Speed or something. Great. <laughs> Fucking uh, Teaming. I like Teaming. I like Teaming. Mate. Living Bomb Teaming for days, man. <laughs> Living Bomb Teaming for days. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Living Bomb Teaming. I don't know what you're talking about, Cloggy. Living Bomb. Oh, that was what we had. Not last week, the week before, was Teaming Bolstering. That wasn't fun. No, we had bolstering, um, teaming skittish was the first week, and then we had bolstering and what was the other one we had last week? Oh, it was the one that, um, yeah, the one that the enraged one where one dies and it increases the power of the other. That's one. bolstering. That's oh, what right. bolstering okay. is. Yeah, I can't remember what the other one was. Oh, overflowing, overflowing is what we had, which is where the healer, if a healer overheals, you get an absorb shield yes. Uh, yes. for healing, so you can't get healed anymore. Overflowing is what we had. Yeah, overflowing and a necrotic. Which was the dot thing, wasn't it? Uh, necrotic. Yeah, we had necrotic. So we've had four sets, haven't we? So we had teaming and skittish the first week. We definitely had overflowing and bolstering. Uh, this week it's volcanic and sanguine. There was one with necrotic and something else. I like tyrannical, you crazy bastard. Oh, the enraged one we had as well. Was the enraged at low health? Yes. Yeah, that was it. Enraged at low health. But again, this is what I'm saying. I love Mythic Plus because every single one of them are different play style. So teaming and skittish was like... It wasn't too bad. We've got a good tank, I'll be honest. I'll be, even like you're doing 1.5 mil on trash, it was fine. Um, bolstering was cool because you had to constantly pay attention to the health of the targets and keep switching around so they die together. Otherwise, the bolster just becomes ridiculous and you end up with a mana worm. I think at one point we fucked it and we ended up with a mana worm with like 150 million health or something. It was like as big as the room because uh, we ate weed everything and it just went and this mana worm just went um, that was really fun. Um necrotic was interesting because you had to use a lot of slows and stuns and stuff so the tanks could keep resetting so you had all this every mythic plus so far has really altered your play style and now this volcanic one is all about movement and positioning constantly really teaching that stuff so it's cool it's a good system it is a good system i just wish it, it is. had like been it. better yeah <laughs> it was godzilla mark too yeah it was a lot of fun uh <laughs> yeah zavis bolt one shotting people in fact i got one on today i did halls of valor 10 and uh I had Searing Light, and as Searing Light detonated, Arcing Bolt hit me at the same time. And to be fair, I could have ice blocked it if I'd been paying attention, but I wasn't. And it just, it was 2.6 million damage instantly. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Uh, I just was like, I'm DPSing, and I'm dead. Uh, so that's happened. Pretty fucking shit. Uh, anyway, appreciate it. I'm a newbie who joined Wrath Lich King private server a few months ago, since I admire the Lich King content very much. I managed to cap my tank. However, I'm sort of afraid to progress through raids. How does one overcome the fear of going into raids? I tried to prepare by reading tactics and watch videos, but I'm still sort of nervous. There's only one way to ever get over that nervousness. You've got to get in there. The worst that can happen is they can kick you, right? And that sounds like the worst thing ever. I know it does. I know it sounds terrible that someone might give you shit. But it's the only way it's going to happen is to get in there. And what you'll find is it's not that big of a deal. If you know what's going on, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll make mistakes. But as, as I tried to say in the raid, the guild misconceptions, every single person here and here and here, there's varieties of raid progression. There's world top 10 raiders in here. There's world first raiders in here. There's people who've never raided before. We all fuck up at some point. All of us. And probably fuck up every single time. All that it happens. It's okay. It's okay. It's totally fine. We all fuck up. Nobody's going to be like, did that man not charge immediately or something? No one's going to be like that. They're going to say something like, can you go fucking a bit faster, right? That's what happens in raids. Go a bit faster. Please pull, right? That's what happens in raids. It's fine. People fuck up all the time. All the time. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, any comment on the Majestic Elderhorn? My head to the Wardens, but that beautiful creature executed. I fucking agree, man. What? That fucking Majestic Stag that runs freely around High Mountain and we murder it. Day after day. Oh, for the water. For the water. I had to do that today. Yeah. Why? And then I skinned the shit out of it, mate. <laughs> and then I drenched myself in its blood. I, I wore its stomach as a hat. What's the one's got against that? It's a good question. It's it is a, a good question. question. It is a good question. Solid question. It is a good question. <laughs> I'm currently playing a Fury Warrior and Raiding. Currently, four out of heroic. Even though I'm one of the top five deeps in the group, I feel I could do better. Because uh, you're telling me an item level there. Uh, please don't do that. If I were to re-roll something, what would you reckon? You've got to re-roll based on that. There's a lot of problems in what you just said. One is your item level, just you boosting your item level, which means you might have fucked up stats. I don't know. A um, lot of questions there to check yourself. You've got a lot of questions to, uh, uh, questions to ask yourself there. I certainly wouldn't re-roll. If you're re-rolling because you feel your class is weak, 
just pay attention to what's going on in World Champion. I mean, we literally had the conversation yesterday, and the line is this. I have it in front of me. The team is happier with the balance than they were before, but there is still more work to do. So there are going to be changes. Remember, if you're in the shittest spot right now, like, my class sucks, and you check MMO Champion tomorrow, and it's, let's say you're a Frost Mage, right? And it's like, oh, everyone's playing fine. And tomorrow it's like, we've buffed Frost by 10%. And your whole world's changed. It happens that fast. It happens all the time. I'm not saying stick with, like, a dead class forever like that. I believe. I believe. I believe. <coughs> In fact, is there Fury buffs? I, did, I think I just saw something. Fury Warriors. There are some improvements from Fury 7.1. The damage penalty is being reduced from 30. They're not going to let that fucking go, Addy. They're not letting it go. The damage penalty is being reduced from 30% to 20%. The team heard the feedback. Should have listened during beta. Better late than never. Why the fuck's that line added like it's some sort of joke? Right. Hey, we know you kept telling us about all this stuff with Fury Warriors. Oops. <sighs> Wankers. The patch 7.1 changes are a band-aid. Some redesign in the future will probably be necessary. Wow, I didn't read that. The saddest thing about the Fury Warrior, the saddest thing is in the beta that went through about 15 iterations. No shit. Really? It was the most changed class over beta easily. The first version they did was the best. Easily. By miles. Like universally accepted as this is the best setup you've done for Fury Warrior. And they've changed it at least 14 or 15 times after that. And it was just nowhere near what it was. Fucking bummer. Um, do you have any demon hunters in your team one? Two. We take two many demon hunters to our team one. Uh, you can one's called Midiv, M I D I V, and another one is called So Good, lol lol lol. But he is the proc master on pos potions, so we'll leave it there. <laughs> Although I believe in Mikey. Mikey for life. He's gonna come through for me Mikey that lad. He's gonna come through for me that lad. He hasn't done it yet. About two hundred potions deep, but he's gonna come through for me. I believe. I believe. My heart goes out to him. Uh, Hey, Bridget, my guild went through some big changes. Core raiders left. Raid leader quit the game. Fuck. We haven't got fired to Heroic because of this. On top of that, I was pointed out the new guild leader. I was pointed the new guild leader and I have no clue what to do. Help. Yeah, run. Join someone yeah, else. Yeah, get out. Take everything and leave. Run. 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 Run away. Run away. You're going to spend half... Let, let, I'm not taking the piss. You're going to spend the next three months trying to rebuild a guild that's probably going to die. That's what's going to happen to you. Either leave, join someone better... Are you going to spend the next fucking three? Or oh, some people have spent the last two years committed to the guild in some fucking weird way after you just got shit on massively. That's what's going to happen. We're not being facetious when we say run. You're literally going to spend all your time trying to solve a guild that you didn't want to be in charge of in the first place. Uh, okay. All right, let's, let's do the last two. Yeah. Last two. You choose. No, you go, man. Do for you. Okay. Just answer which one you think. How many times are you planning on doing Twitch viewer raiding? Uh, probably one more this week, but then my family's back and then probably not at all, sadly. Uh, I just don't have the time. The only reason I did it this week is because Emma! My wife and kids are on vacation. So I, I could jerk off in every room. And half. Nice. Oh No, she's not here, mate. Oh, bad dog. She's not here, mate. She's not here. Um, <laughs> is Ghost going to play Overwatch again? Eventually, I really fucking miss it. I just don't have time at the minute. Yeah. Uh, thinking Good of down. making a tank as my main alt, but not sure whether to go with Demon Hunter, Prop Paladin, Guardian Druid, or possibly a Blood DK. What would you suggest? I have a sneaking feeling that the other tanks are going to come right up to the others, but there's no doubt. If you watch my video, I love the Brewmaster. I love the gameplay of the Brewmaster. I think it's really good. A little bit of just like effect tweaking, and it'll probably be fine. <laughs> but it's hard at the moment to not suggest like Bear or Paladin because they're just very powerful. Uh, I did try the Halloween event in Overwatch. I have done it. And I opened my box and didn't get Reaper's skin, so I fucking left. I hope they make the Brewmaster better, that's what I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hope they make the Brewmaster more effective. Although a lot of it is perception. They take more damage, but they smooth it out a bit better. Um, this guy's such a baby. Can you guys see this? Look, he's actually lay like a baby. <laughs> Alright, guys. We're going to get off and have some fun. That was a good Q&A, actually. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah. We haven't done that in a while. So, coming up on the schedule, then. Um, I'll show it to you. 
Right, we have a lot of stuff coming up. So we'll redo the schedule uh, maybe tomorrow, but we've got a lot coming up. So reminders, Patreons, please pay attention to your Patreon emails Monday or Tuesday. The new show is going to be on Patreon and we need oh, your feedback shit. to try and make it better. I know we're fucking so busy. When's the Halloween show? When, are the, when is that game arriving? Uh, I've not got that written down. Emma's got that written down. I think it's October 22nd or 20 something. I think it's... What I say 26? What day, what day is the 26th? So our Halloween special, and it will be a special, we'll have lots of giveaways then, is... Uh, it's a Wednesday. I think it's a Tuesday, maybe the 25th. Yeah, it might, I think it's the 25th. Right, which is that's the same day as the Dark Souls DLC. Okay, so that could be Dark Souls DLC during the day, Halloween stream at night. But didn't we also say that 7.1's launch date? 7.1 launch date as well, apparently it's the 25th, yes. I wonder if that's midnight, because that's a Tuesday. Usually it'll be Wednesday. Maybe, we'll maybe. Have to, we'll have to find that out. Um, yeah, but make the fucking. Ah, uh, no, to be honest, outside of that, all I've got down is uh, Titanfall 2. Yeah. Mm. And then there's a month, and then it's Star Trek Bridge Crew. Star Trek Bridge Crew is so hype. Uh, we're going to be in London on the. Pro I think we're going to be at the London Comic Con on the 29th. We're I think we'll be streaming live on Twitch's channel for that. Uh, the horror special, by the way, is going to have a load of horror gear. We've already got some of it here, actually. Emma's been buying yeah. masks and stuff. Uh, we'll be doing a load of giveaways, and we're also getting a world first exclusive, our first one ever of a VR horror game. So it's not as if it's like some mega AAA game, but they still be like, yep, we'll give it to you. So we'll be streaming this horror. I'll be playing it, obviously, <laughs> this horror VR game at that point. Um, and then we're at BlizzCon. Now, there, oh, we found out today there is no YouTube booth at BlizzCon. But uh, YouTube is not doing a booth at BlizzCon. So if you came and met us at BlizzCon last time, we did it at the YouTube booth. They're not doing that. So we're just going to be around. We'll make ourselves available. There is parties going on. I know Stark is throwing a party for everybody who's going. And I believe, I don't want to put words in your mouth, Jono, but I believe anybody who's a fan of the channel can come to that. I think, I think, if Vanish can let me know in the chat. But there will be parties. Um, if you're going to be at BlizzCon, you can party with us. And we'll be rocking Tony Romas on that Thursday night. I believe it's a Thursday when we get there. Uh, and then after that, it's back to business as usual. I think that's. I don't think we're signing up to any more events for this year. Although we, there's a lot of offers here, I don't think so. So that's what's going on. All right. Short of judging a blowjob competition. Yeah, girls, if you can get your entries into that, we are going to need the videos ASAP. Guys, you're welcome as well. Videos, no samples, mate. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, there'll be loads of that going on. So if you're at any of those events, please come and say hi. Um, don't be shy. Every time we go to these events, people just walk past us and try and snake pictures or something. Don't do that. Just come and say hello Stop and talk us. to me. I want to talk to you all day. I want to talk to you all day because there's nothing for me to play at a BlizzCon. I'm genuinely serious. There's nothing for me to play at a BlizzCon. <laughs> just come and say fucking hi. <laughs> uh, and uh, Halloween themed transport competition will be at the Halloween web show as well. Yes, that's everything. Am I right? Emma's supposed to do me a list. Go on a fucking holiday. She hasn't. I'll do it on Monday. All right, do we'll do Monday. the list. It's bound to change. All right, guys. Take it easy. Bye.